Welcome to another Space Ace version of the Metal Void. Charles, where'd you go, man? Where's Charles? Here I am, brother! Ace Freely, <laughs> Ace Invader! Space Invader by Ace Freely, the new album. After how many years? Five? Five years? Oh, five years at least. Anyways, guys, what'd you think of the album? Let's start off with Charles. Charles. Ah, oh, man, what do you say? It's it's Ace. It's Ace Freely. I mean, like I said earlier, you could listen to the last record and you would have heard this record. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean, like, he's consistent. Yes. You, you get that Ace Freely personality, that vibe. You, If you like it, if you like what he does, yes. if you dig his voice, if you dig his attitude and his, you know, what he... If you dig his... He's a personality singer. Yes. He's one of those guys, you know? This is... <laughs> The continuation of what he did on the last record. <laughs> Alan, what'd you think? <laughs> He's got a unique vocal, like Charles <laughs> said. He's got that Randy Bachman kind of delivery on a few of the newer songs. Yes. Uh, takes you right back to the 70s. I, he sounds I, okay. reinvigorated. Yes. So you got to give him that. He sounds inspired. Well, you got to give him more than that. This album. Eddie Trunk said it the best. He goes, this is not as good as his, you know, his, his first solo album, but almost as good. And he does sound energetic. His guitars are a lot heavier. And I think we need a little more time, a few more years to really fully, uh, you know, appreciate this album. Remember, this is not a metal album. This is a hard rocking album. This album has a lot of great tracks. You know, great starting tracks. off with a Space Invader. Yeah. Uh, you know, what a what a way to open up the the album. You know, hard rocking guitar. I mean, he's blazing guitar solos. He's got that Ace Freely guitar tone. And I'm sure Gene and Paul are listening to the album saying, "Uh, uh." fans out there that have been looking forward to the yes. record my buddy Dee Dee has, has been going on about this for weeks and what about the Joker the Joker do you think he he did justice to the song he, he did a great version of it I, I think it would sounds energetic and it sounds alive and it sounds up-to-date and you know, and the way it starts off, just with the guitar and him singing, I thought I thought it sounded cool. That's, no, that's fair. That's fair. That's and, fair. and he's got a, an instrumental called uh, Starship, which it's not Y Y Z here, right? Or Y Y Z. I'm no, not sure how the rest of the world not. pronounces it. But I mean, it's not Rush, but it's a very moody piece, something you'd find maybe in a movie soundtrack. Yeah, no, that's actually that's actually a really nice piece of music. I will say that. And I think other tracks I dig. You know, uh, I thought Toys was cool. Immortal Pleasures. Uh, past the Milky Way, man. I, <laughs> if you like Ace, you're gonna love that track. You know, it's just got his personality all sure. over it. You know, I, I couldn't help but kind of break into a smile when I was hearing that. You know, if you, if you yeah. like, and inside the vortex, the solo record he did. And if you ever, if you listen really carefully to Inside the Vortex, sounds like uh, I hate to say this, but Voivod. You know, he's got that sneak uh, sort of vocals there. Wow. <laughs> well, there you have it, Ace Freely. You know, I dig it. And I think people should buy it. I think this is probably one of the best albums he's have e he has ever made. Good on Ace for getting sober, for getting, for getting his band together, for getting a record out. You know, he's moving forward. He's doing what he does. He's having a great time. His fans love him. You know, uh, uh, hanging for the record. Um, or more power to him. I say good on you, Ace. Rock on, brother. Great stuff. All right, see you next time on The Metal Voice. Metal Voice. Metal Voice.